Creating Pinterest pins used to take a lot of time in the past, but today with the right tools, you can actually do it in a couple of seconds. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about Ideogram and you will see why it quickly became one of my favorite tools for Pinterest content. I'm gonna show you exactly how I create pins with Ideogram, which prompts I use, which subscription plan is the best for you, which aspect ratios are worth testing, and what are the alternatives if you don't want to use Ideogram for some reason. So let's get into it. Before I start, my new community of Pinterest creators is quickly growing, so if you want to be a part of it, the link is in the description. You can meet like-minded people and get access to all of my prompts, all of my tools and strategies, and you also get one-on-one -on -one DM support from me. So if you need help with your Pinterest account, I can help you directly. If it sounds good, you know what to do. The link is in the description and I'll see you inside. So this is Ideogram and this is how it works. It's an AI image generator that creates extremely realistic images. I mean, look at this photo. It literally looks like a real photograph. And unlike other AI tools, it can create very good text overlays as well. You simply have to type in the prompt here, choose the aspect ratio here, choose the model here. I'm going to talk about the models in a minute, then just click generate and you will see a couple of images in a couple of seconds. There is no need to open Canva. You don't have to download stock photos or mess with the layouts. You just need a good prompt. You need to click generate and that's it. So as an example, here's a prompt that you can use and it goes like this, a viral Pinterest pin. This Pinterest pin presents a simple yet appetizing piece of a chocolate cake. Text overlay, the best chocolate cake ever in bold white modern font. This Pinterest pin is indulgent and highly clickable. Once you click generate after a couple of seconds, you will end up with four images. And the best part about it is that you can upload this pin today. You can upload that image in a week. You can schedule that image for two weeks in advance and so on. All of these images look very good and they can bring you traffic. So with just one prompt, you can create a lot of content for your Pinterest account. Okay, but how do you come up with the right prompts for your content? Well, first of all, you can try out my free prompts. The link is in the description. It's Google Doc with 10 prompts. Each one of them is different. So you can just check them out and see which one works best for you. In the end, it all depends on what kind of content you have on your site and what's the aesthetic of your Pinterest account and so on. If you need more inspiration, you can simply go to Ideogram. Just click on that little icon here and just say Pinterest pin. And then you are going to see all of the images that are currently public. Some of these images look very good, some of them are bad, but maybe you will find something that actually can work for you. So this is a very good strategy because it allows you to see other styles. For example, that one looks very good, that one looks very good, that one looks very good. So again, it's all about finding the right prompts. The last thing that you can do is you can simply go to ChatGPT and ask it to create prompts for you. And then you just have to test it out which one works best for you. Now let's talk about pricing because this is what makes Ideogram such a good deal. There are three plans. The first one, basic plan, is for $8 a month. The plus plan is for $20 a month. And the pro plan is for $60 a month. I'm currently on the plus plan. It gives you 1000 priority credits per month unlimited slow credits and eight images in the queue. So for me, that's more than enough. In my opinion, you don't need to spend $60 a month unless you are running multiple high volume accounts or doing some work for clients. But for most solo bloggers, $20 a month is the sweet spot. You can also try the basic plan first, but honestly, I'm afraid that you are going to run out of credits pretty fast. So I think that the plus plan is the best. Like I said, I'm not affiliated with Ideogram. It's just a very good tool. So that's why I recommend it. Now let's talk about specific models because there are a few models that you can choose from 3.0, 2.0, 2A and 1.0, which is pretty bad in my opinion. So you can pretty much ignore that one. Personally, I create all of my pins with text overlay. So if you create pins with text, 2A model is the best. And if you choose the turbo model, you are going to pay only 0.5 credits for four images. So if you pay $20 for a plan that gives you 1000 credits, well, you can pretty much generate 8000 images for just $20. Obviously, you are not going to use 8,000 images because some of them are going to suck and that's normal because that's AI and it's not perfect. But generally, 2A model 
is simply the best for text overlays. For images without text, I recommend either 2.0 or 3.0. 3.0 is better, but 2.0 is way more affordable, so it depends on how many credits you have. Now, there is some confusion when it comes to aspect ratios, because some people claim that you should use only 2 to 3 aspect ratio, and they say that it's the best for Pinterest, and honestly, I disagree. A lot of my pins that went viral actually used the 9 to 16 aspect ratio, or 1 to 2 aspect ratio, so it's all vertical, but not exactly 2 to 3. I also did an experiment and I tried adding square pins too, but none of them got traffic, so honestly it's better to stick to vertical format. So honestly, in my opinion, the best way to do it is to just mix different aspect ratios. Don't stick to one format, just try a couple of different ones and see what works best for you. Now let's talk about the alternatives, because if you don't want to use ideogram, if you don't want to pay for it, well, of course you can do it in a different way too. First of all, you can try Canva, you can use the free version, you don't have to pay for the pro version, but again, it's much more time consuming and it requires a lot of manual work. You can also try the latest ChatGPT 4.0 image generator. It works very well, but at the same time, it's super slow. So it's good if you want to create just one pin, but if you would create hundreds of pins with ChatGPT, that would take ages. You can also try tools like Pin Generator or Tailwind, but honestly, I tried these tools and although it can make you much more productive, the quality of these pins is simply not as the same as in Ideogram. So in the end, if Ideogram is so good, why would you actually want to find something else? It's affordable, it's super easy to use, and honestly, it's very efficient. Okay, so I hope that this quick video was helpful. And of course, if you want to step up your Pinterest game, join this cool community. This is the community called Pin Lions. We have people from all over the world. So if you want to meet like-minded people, maybe someone from your country is already here. So two of you can connect and chat about Pinterest too. You can get access to all of my strategies, all of my prompts, and you can get the one-on-one -on -one DM access to me so I can help you directly. The link is in the description. You know what to do join pin lions so that's enough for today now i'm gonna enjoy my coffee and wherever you are i hope you are having a fantastic day see you next time